What's up with it? It's your boy Skis, baby. And I'm back with another fire reaction. Back with another cash app request, man. I want to shout out my slime, Becky, one time for the one time. Thanks for rocking with me, Becky. Always showing love. Always supporting your boy. You know, it is much appreciated, man. Salute to you. Now, today, we're checking out Everlast with what it's like, man. Like, comment, hit the subscribe button. With no further ado, we write the business, man. Let's see what Everlast talking about. Okay, strings. <laughs> oh, them strings right there got emotion behind. You already know I love when them strings get to crying out, man. I love birthday. <laughs> Hey, I love this right here. We we delivering already, man. Um, he look, he seem like he got a rap tone to it. You feel me with the strings, but this shit going crazy, man. Because we so judgmental as people. You feel me? Like I lived in Portland, and when I moved to Portland, I seen the most homeless people I ever seen in my life. You feel me? Ever seen in my life in Portland. And I didn't judge them or look at them like they was less than, you know what I'm saying? First off, that's not how I was raised. You feel me? I was raised to shake the CEO hand just like you shake the janitor hand. You feel me? Show love to everybody because you never know. You never know if you're going to be in that position. You never know why they why are they in that position like you don't know. So I don't understand why people so evil and judgmental and just... Like, get a job, you fucking slide. Like, you don't know what he going through. You know what I'm saying? You don't know, even know if he could get a job. You know what I'm saying? And, and people just continue to push him down, push him down, push him down. So it's hard for them to climb out of that in a lot of situations. And until we walk a mile in their shoes, we'll never understand, man. So instead of shitting on them, I feel like you should help them, man. You know what I'm saying? Once a week, I used to go down to the shelter and help. You know what I'm saying? Because I wanted to help. I wanted to be that you know, every time I went to the store, I seen the same home. That became my homie, Toby. That boy Toby was my slime, you feel me? Every single day I pack, I give him some weed, give him some candy, juice, whatever you want up out the store. I got him here, I knew I had him. Like, I didn't judge him, never. People used to walk by him all day and judge him. Not me. Not me. And so he know, like, Toby know he forever the slime, man. If he see me, his face just light up because he know I'm not judging him. He already know that my heart pure and I treat him like the man he is, you feel me? He just went through some mishaps, man. War veteran. You know how I feel about the war veterans, man, in the military. And his family just turned their back on him, you know, saying due to PTSD and mental health issues. You know, I say I sit there and talk to him. He he let me know, but I don't know, it's just sad, bro. It's so sad. It's the, this world we live in. Fucking slobs out he replied. Shit, man, my stomach hurt. That shit make y'all. I know my fellas out there, grab they stomach. 
Just check and see if, you know what I'm saying? Check and see if everything's still there. The levels. Got to check on the levels when you hear things like that. Cause, boy. <laughs> Dollar man, you've been dreaming now. <laughs> Later, he say he won't date or return her call. And swear, goddamn, it's fun that man cutting off his ball. The good old snip snip. And then she asked for the clinic and she gets some static walking through the door. They call her a killer and they call her a sinner and they call her a whore. And that's tough. Like, that situation right there is tough, man. Her body, her choice, man. I don't see how people even debate that shit nowadays. Like, fuck your personal reasons. Fuck how you feel about it you, in your personal life. It's not your life. You ain't going through it. Goddamn me. You don't know what the hell is happening in this woman's situation to where she having to make the, you know what I'm saying, the choice that she makes. You never know. So I don't see why people, oh, hard, oh. Oh, you're so evil. Oh. Like, go to work. Get your ass out in front of the clinic. You sitting here heckling me about my life choices. Man, worry about your life. Because if I get to dissect in your life, I know there's some shit up there that I ain't going to like either. But I don't see why people judge. Like, you don't know the situation. And um, just being, you know what I'm saying, a proud father of a daughter. It's her choice, man. You know what I'm saying? It's her choice. It's her choice. Of course, I'm going to raise her to make the right choices, good choices. You feel me? But at the end of the day, it's her choice. To do it, whatever she choose to do. Ain't no right or wrong in that situation, man. Ain't no right or wrong. The the right choice is her choice. Because <laughs> it's her life, you know what I'm saying? It's, and I don't know. This world is just crazy, man. This world is a wild place. I never even understood that. Because it's certain situations to where if you ask them certain questions, you feel me like, hey, would you keep the baby in this situation? I'm like, ah, ah, yeah, exactly. Like, so you don't know. I know what it's like to have Rest in peace, my boy Money Mike, man. If, if y'all been rocking with me for a while, y'all know Money Mike. Uh, that's my best friend, uh, my brother. And uh, he lost his life, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, he wasn't living a regular nine-to-five life, you know what I'm saying? He was selling weed, you know what I'm saying? Weed seller. But if you just look at the surface of Mike, you'll look at him like, oh, he's just a drug dealer, woo woo woo, -woo. But behind them closed doors, you feel me? Um, college graduate with a bachelor's. De decorated college basketball player, man. That was my teammate. 
great son, take care of his mama, take care of his sisters. He the breadwinner of the family. He take care of everybody, man. He take the chances so nobody else had to take them chances. And he took, even in college, man, he going to college and he had so much responsibilities, man. So many, and I was away. It was his hometown that I went to school in, you feel me? So while I was there, he, and whenever I needed something, he looked out for me. You know what I'm saying? Anything. Like, Mike was a, like, that was my brother, you know, and, um, he ended up losing his life. Not like that, because Mike was a cool cat. Um, some guys had robbed him, and, you know, and they ended up shooting him, ended up killing him. But they didn't know Mike, because if they knew Mike, they would have known they didn't have to rob him. They would have known they could ask him for anything. They would have known he gone. he look out for everybody. Like, Mike was one of the best people I done met in my life, man, and it, it hurt me when he left. But I didn't see people judge Mike just because his tattoos, just because even he white with his low haircut, they just think he a skinhead or something like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't see people just judge Mike just off the surface, but they ain't no really know Mike. So, like I said, man, it's a judgmental world. They don't really give a damn. They don't care about all the goods you do. They don't even care about the fucking bad you do. I don't know why people just be judging. Like, you don't even fucking care. You just talking. Shut your ass up. Like, most people just be talking just to talk, just to be in somebody's business. Like, they don't even care. You know what I'm saying? Like, the abortion thing. Like, okay, if I don't abort my kid, you going to take care of it? They'll probably look, ah, oh, no. Well, damn. <laughs> well, damn. What you want from me then? Uh, glass. Man, people is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, that's a tough one. Cause even with my, uh, with my daughter's mother, you know what I'm saying? Um, she's not in my daughter's life, uh, not at all. You know, my daughter just turned seven. Uh, last time I probably talked to her mother was probably when she was like two, one or two. Um, I don't ask her for no money. I don't down talk her. I don't, I don't judge her at all. You feel me? Like at all. I, I applaud her. I thank her for giving me my child and letting me raise my child. You feel me? Instead, cause she was finna put the child up for adoption, but she ended up letting me, you know what I'm saying? Get sole custody. And I appreciate for that. So when people be talking, oh, she must not be a good, I don't stand for that. Cause I don't know what she going through personally. I don't know. It was a little college fling. We had a beautiful baby out of it, but I don't know what she's going through in her personal life. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, for, for me to look at her like she's the, oh, she's the worst mother in the world. Oh, what girl could ever, what woman could ever do that? I don't talk to her like that. I don't talk about her like that. Um, if ever she contact me and want to be in my daughter's life, I'm going to let her. You know what I'm saying? I don't down talk her to like, because that's not my place. It's not my place to judge her or why she made certain decisions. But, you know, the world is out here crazy, man. I appreciate it. Right, this song right here is tough, man. Everlast, what is like, banger. Hell of a message, man. I appreciate it. Like, comment, hit the subscribe button. Um, head over there to Instagram, Twitter. Follow me at OKSkis, man. We got the Patreon for the exclusive blocked YouTube videos. Um, link in the description, man. Buy me a coffee. Link in the description. Appreciate all the support, man. Everybody that rocks with me, you know I rock with you the strong way, man. Big Slime Skis. Roll to 100K. Ski Squad. I see y'all out here. Wing.